Chapter number 1 The Number System Exercise 1.1 Understanding Place Value How to read big numbers To read large numbers imagine them as houses Each section is a house with a name the million house the thousand house the unit house and the decimal house So when you see a number like this we're going to start by putting them in their respective houses. Now once when we are done with it, we're going to go to the first house, which is the million house. First you ask yourself, who's in the house? 648. Now when you see the comma, you're going to say the name of the house. And the name of the house is million. So we have 648 million comma now let's go to the next house 792 and when you see the comma you're going to say the name of the house which is thousand let's go to the next house the unit house 315 there is no comma over here so we are not going to say the name of the house we are done with the whole numbers. Now let's read the numbers after the decimal point. Point one four. The whole number is six hundred and forty-eight million seven hundred and ninety-two thousand three hundred and fifteen point one four. Exercise one point one. Write these numbers in digits. 1001.01 1001 1001 we're going to add the zeros and get the answer 1 comma 001.01 500000 5.9 we're going to add the zeros and write the final answer as 500,005.9 Let's add the zero to get the final answer 403,034.9 Question number two. Write these numbers in words. 345.09 5,378.12 one 158,035.4 3030.03 Question number 3 What is the value of the digit 7 in these numbers 6703.46 The value of 7 is 7 hundredths 70213.8 The value of 7 over here is 7 ten thousands 606,456.7 The value of 7 over here is 7 tenths. 234,560.07 The value of 7 over here is 7 hundredths. Question number 5. Write the missing numbers 358 multiplied by 100. Multiplying a number by 100 moves the decimal two places ahead to the right. So when we have 358 multiplied by 100, we're going to move the decimal two places ahead to get 35,800. Multiplying a number by 1000 moves the decimal three places ahead to the right. So when we have 456 multiplied by 1000, 
we're going to move the decimal point three places ahead to get 456,000. Dividing a number by 1000 moves the decimal three places to the left. So when we have 5600 divided by 1000, the decimal point moves three places to the left to get us 5.6. 2700 divided by 100 gets you 27. Question number four. Write these numbers in words and digits. 200,000 plus 6,000 plus 300 plus 2 plus 0 0.1 gets you 206,302.1. Nine hundred thousand plus ninety thousand plus nine hundred plus nine plus zero point nine when added gives you nine hundred and ninety thousand nine hundred and nine point nine hundred thousand plus twenty thousand plus five thousand plus six hundred plus twenty plus five plus zero point four plus 0 0.03 gives you 125,625.43. Sophia multiplies a number by 10, then again by 10, and then again by 10. Her answer is 20,000. What number did she start with? 20. Write the missing numbers. 3.45 multiplied by 100 gets you 345. 16.8 divided by 10, 1.68. 6.5 multiplied by 10, 65. Question number 8. Find and correct the mistakes in this diagram. 58 multiplied by 10 gets you 580. 58 multiplied by 1000 gets you 58,000. Which missing number is the odd one out? 33 divided by 10 is 3.3. 3.3 multiplied by 100 gets you 330. 3.03 multiplied by 10 gives you 30.3. And 3300 divided by 1000 gives you 3.3. So, C is the one that is different. C is equal to 3.03 .03 and the rest of the answers are 3.3. .3.